guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so today I'm taking a look at something I discovered while surfing on Indiegogo, which I do once in a while, just so I can discover that next up and coming thing that I can do a review for on my channel. And uh, that's where I saw for the first time the Go Chair. So what makes this so special? I'm about to show you. So before we delve deep into what this actually is and give you my first impressions, let's check out the website. And I'm just gonna go right to the Indiegogo page where I first saw it. And um, it says right here, Go Chair, the bottle-sized portable chair. I'm gonna put this up against a bottle. I mean, it shows like a water bottle, but I don't have a water bottle this size. But if you see right here on the overview, it says uh, unfolds and quickly sets up from the size of a water bottle, comfortable and stable, Seating at 10 inches off the ground. Um, supports up to 300 pounds. That's interesting. Pack easily and take anywhere at three pounds. So three pounds. Also all those little points are right here. Stable, weatherproof, 10 inches off the ground. But this is what's interesting to me right here. It says, have the best seat in the house in five seconds. They're saying that I can unpack this from the way it is now and have it in chair form in five seconds. Well, I'm gonna check that out and test and see if that's true. I'm guessing the first couple times it's not going to be true. Um, it says there's a push button, extended arm, sit and enjoy, blah, 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 blah. And it just goes over some of the stuff. Okay, aircraft grade aluminum, which these legs are actually pretty darn sturdy. I mean, this thing has a nice feel to it. It feels sturdy. I mean, at three pounds, yeah, there's still some heft to it. But just the actual build is actually very, very, very nice. Solid rubber feet tips, so we can actually see right here on the bottom, there is rubber feet tips on the bottom of these legs here. Double seams for durability, twice stitched, uh, rip stop ballistic nylon, which is waterproof, tear proof, and cools in the summer. So I guess what I wanna do first is actually see how fast this thing unpacks from this closed position into a position where we can actually sit down. So right here, there's a Velcro strap. So undo the Velcro strap and these legs kind of come apart like this okay and snaps into place as so so that's actually really cool because these snap in and the only way to get it apart is there's a button right here and then it kind of looks like an umbrella at this point so what i found to be the best way is to from this point flip it upside down these little arms here kind of hang down just like this and then just pull these little pull tabs right here and then Extend, 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 extend. Boom. So their claims of being able to put this together in five seconds could very well be true. So I just did that uh, step by step just to show you guys the best way to do this, but I'm actually gonna fold this back up and see if I can do this in under five seconds. All right, so I have it back in the closed position. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a timer up on the screen and I'm gonna start that timer right when I let this Velcro strap go. And I'm gonna see if it can take me five seconds or under to actually get this open, what they claim on the website or on their Indiegogo page. So I haven't had too much, <laughs> too much practice with this yet. So let's see if I can do it. All right, let's go. And go. Oh no! <laughs> oh, there we go. Ow! Is it there? Oh no, I didn't get this one side and trying to do it too fast. I don't think I did it there because this back wasn't fully extended. But like I said, I don't have a lot of practice with this thing yet, but I can see this. If you're trying to do it really quickly, getting this open in five seconds, I actually want to try it one more time. Let me just say that, you know, I'm also sitting down. So I guess if I was standing up and trying to do this, it would be a little bit easier to do. You know, so I'm sitting down in a chair. And it's kind of awkward to do while I'm sitting down, but. And, all right, stress back on. Let's try it again. All right, go. Boom. 
Why is he getting caught there? Okay. There. <laughs> Did I do it? Regardless if I didn't do it or not, that is still pretty darn impressive. All right, guys, and you can kind of see the construction here. I mean, it is pretty darn impressive the way they came up with this. These little tabs here fold right back into these little grooves here. So when it's closed, these fold back into the grooves. The little buttons here, you just push them back in and they all fold back inside of itself. And then we got the chair right here. And being at $89.95, that might be pretty expensive. And I know Walmart has uh, other little camping chairs that they sell for like 15 bucks. From what I've seen on those chairs, they have those tent pole style legs where you have to kind of assemble it and put it together. And then after you get everything together, then you have to put the chair piece on. So it comes in two pieces, it's kind of clunky. And this thing literally you can do in, I would say, realistically in under 10 seconds and to be ready to go. Underneath the chair here on the back, there's this little mesh netting right here that you can store your wallet, you can store your keys, your cell phone, and that just wraps around the whole bottom of the chair. And you can access it through both sides. I have an iPhone uh, 8 Plus, and the iPhone 8 Plus actually sank right down to the bottom and could still fit in the skinny part here. So just to give you a size comparison to how big this little piece is there, my phone fit right in there. Okay, let's see how easy it is to fold back up into that bottle position. So little tabs right here, right here and right here. So what we want to do is push these little tabs in just like that, fold it down, fold it down, and then the same on this back side here, fold it in and fold it in. So what it's gonna do is just gonna rest back in his little grooves there on the legs, okay? And then right here on the bottom, right there, there's a little button. So when you push that button, whoop, folds right back up in itself and kind of stuff all the netting and the seat, the nylon seat back in it. It's the nylon piece right there. There we go, it was getting caught on itself. Just like that. So it's actually pretty easy both ways, putting together and taking apart, putting it away. Um, I think they have a winner here, guys. On the Indiegogo site, they actually showed um, a stretch goal that they give you this carabiner with your order that has a little bottle opener right there. So the carabiner, you can fit right on this key ring that they give you. There we go. So you put the carabiner on the key ring and you can actually attach this to a backpack. Um, the site shows somebody wearing it on their belt loop and you can actually just walk with this and you know, only three pounds, it's not too crazy. They're, I wouldn't put this on my belt loop. It might weigh you down too much, but backpack, I can totally see this being completely fine hanging off one of the straps on your backpack. And they also claim that it's the size of a water bottle. I don't have any water bottles this size, but I do have this one liter bottle of Aquafina. And if I tilt down, you can see the size difference between this chair and a bottle of Aquafina. Okay, so this is a one liter. Then I have one of these mossy oak sippy cups that are just huge. And you can kind of see the difference there. Okay, just towers over it. And then if I put a two liter next to it, there you go. So now you guys can have a pretty good uh, size comparison. Uh, between a two liter bottle and this. I don't know where they come up with uh, it's the size of a water bottle. I don't know what type of water bottle y'all are drinking, but they must be gigantic water bottles if it's bigger than this two liter. But even so, it's still a pretty nice compact form factor that I can see taking this everywhere. In fact, that's why I didn't want to do a review on this just yet because I've only had it for a couple days. I want to be taking this to work with me because I always need a chair for lunchtime because I sit by my truck, I like to eat outside. I'm sick of sitting on a hard truck uh, tailgate or a curb or whatever. I'm gonna be taking this with me and I'll be back, I don't know, maybe in a month or two and let you guys know the verdict on this thing after I put it to some real world use. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the brand new ultra portable go chair? Like I said, this is more of a first impressions 
uh, overview video rather than a review. Um, the review will be coming soon after I get some real world usage out of this thing, just to see if it actually will stand up to the test of everyday use. Cause you know, especially if you're a hiker or camper, you're gonna be putting this to the test on a daily basis. So it has to hold up. So stay tuned for that video. That will be coming up in a few months. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go. Extend. Boom.